From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. The Humane Society of Tampa Bay now upping the reward for the person who threw a kitten out of a moving car. The organization now offering $1,000 for a tip that leads to an arrest. It happened on Columbus Avenue around 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Hillsborough County deputies now asking for your help finding the man they say drove in a deputy's car while drunk and then went on the run. They say Pablo Alarkin hit Deputy Vincent Vitek's patrol car back in early March. Deputies say Alarkin later vanished after bonding out of jail. Bus drivers all over the Bay Area pushing for change after police say a passenger killed a heart bus driver in Tampa. Dozens of bus drivers and union members showing up to a Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority meeting today. They stood in solidarity, pleading for glass enclosures on every bus. In other news, special counsel Robert Mueller talking publicly for the very first time to clarify his team's findings in their election meddling investigation. He said his team could not even consider criminal charges against President Trump because it was against Department of Justice guidelines. He also stressed they did not exonerate the president. And now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast. Dan. Hey, Don, everybody. Temperatures have been well above normal. We've been very dry. Brush fire dangers getting a little bit higher as rain free as we've been. Although I do think by the weekend that begins to change a little bit. Thursday is still sunny, hot mid 90s. Friday, maybe low to mid 90s. Rain chances at about 20% and maybe even a little bit higher by the weekend. All of those storms should be later on in the afternoon. All right, thanks, Dennis. And you can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download our free ABC Action News app. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.